Adwani. I am the advisor here and have also been associated with Illusion Dental Laboratory for quite some time now. Illusion Dental Laboratory has been manufacturing quality dental restorations for over 15 years. We have a lot of our premium products like Bruxel, Bruxel Anterior, Smart Apartments, Titanium PFMs and a lot more which are manufactured using state-of-the-art CAT CAM technology. Illusion Dental Lab caters to over 5,000 dentists spread across 93 cities in India and we are also exporting a lot of dental restorations worldwide. We have now also ventured into continuing dental education through our recently established training center, our forthcoming dental magazine and this video series. This video series aims at promoting quality continuing dental education through showcase of clinical cases, clinical scenarios and also the laboratory aspects of restorative dentistry. Please feel free to write in your comments, suggestions and critiques which will help us improve this platform as also your requests to feature certain specific procedures in this video series. I hope you all enjoy this video. Okay, so uh, today I'm going to talk about a few products from Illusion Dental Laboratory. Uh, there are lots of products on the catalog so I don't think it's going to be feasible to cover each and every one of them. But I can definitely try to touch on a few premium products. Uh, if at all you need any information on any additional products, you can always contact Illusion Dental Laboratories. So our first product here is uh, Bruxir. A lot of you must have heard about uh, Bruxir, Bruxir Crowns and Bridges. It's basically a monolithic zirconia which is carved out of or milled out of rather a single block of zirconia. Because it is monolithic, it has a high flexural strength of around 1465 megapascals. That is why we normally recommend this in the posterior regions. It can be used to fabricate both crowns as well as bridges. You can see this bridge here, it's a three unit bridge. Because it is monolithic, there is no layering on top and that is why it requires less preparation of the tooth structure. An occlusal clearance of at least 1 mm should be ideal for Bruxil crowns and bridges. Anytime you are looking to fabricate a Bruxil crown or a Bruxil bridge, just make sure that there is a good clearance of at least uh, 1 mm. Uh, as far as the Bruxil bridge is concerned, uh, the most important factor is the connector. Now, the connector needs to be of a specific volume. There is something known as uh, the rule of 27 which we use in the dental lab to uh, evaluate whether the Bruxil bridge is going to be successful or not. Uh, in fact, I'm going to touch on it in uh, one of the upcoming episodes of this video series. We're going to talk about the rule of 27 in detail. But just to give you a rough idea, the rule of 27 basically states that the volume of the connector, that is the height of the connector squared multiplied by the width of the connector, this value that we get should be 27 or more. In case it is less than 27, that means the connector is not strong enough and the bridge is likely to fail. As I said, that is one topic which I am definitely going to cover in one of the uh, upcoming episodes uh, in detail. And Bruxir crowns and bridges come with a 15 year warranty. Okay, the next product that I'm going to talk about is uh, Bruxir Anterior. Bruxir Anterior is a monolithic zirconia. Uh, a lot of our doctors would ask us if we can use uh, the, the conventional, the Bruxir crowns and bridges in the anterior zone. Well, there is no problem in using them, but we found that there are some uh, issues with the shade matching. So now we have come up with these Bruxir Anterior crowns and bridges, which are uh, highly translucent and also monolithic at the same time. So the, the monolithic nature of this crown will give it a good flexural strength of around 650 megapascals. The fact that it is monolithic uh, will uh, lead to your preparation being more conservative. The planks uh, out of which this Bruxil anterior is carved out is available in 16 different shades. Another advantage is that you don't need to bond these. All you need to do is use some raisin cement and you can just go ahead and uh, uh, cement it. Okay, we also have a very interesting tool for um, patient education and convincing your patient to go for a Bruxir anterior crown. This is a light box. Now I have a crown, a Bruxir anterior crown placed on there and uh, I'm just switching on the light and you can see, you can actually see the light shine through the crown. So this shows the translucent nature of uh, the material and I will also show you what a PFM crown looks like if exposed to such conditions. See there is no light shining but I put it on. You can see it through the soft tissue but you cannot see it through the crown. So this is a very uh, convenient and an easy tool to convince your patient to go for a Bruxir anterior crown. Bruxir anterior in fact comes with a 15 year warranty. Okay, another product that I'm going to show you is a titanium PFM. Basically this contains uh, the core or the copings are uh, milled out of uh, titanium and it is then layered with opaque and uh, ceramic. So because it is titanium it is extremely light in weight and uh, because it is light in weight 
it is highly advisable to use uh, these titanium PFMs for uh, long span bridges, especially in the upper arch where retention becomes an issue because of the sheer weight of uh, the bridge. So it is very good in those kind of cases. Also, it is uh, made using CAT CAM technology. There is minimal human touch. Uh, the entire process is carried out uh, by a milling machines. So the accuracy and uh, the precision is uh, maintained uh, indefinitely. Because it is titanium, it is highly biocompatible. It does not irritate the gums and uh, instances of discoloration uh, of the gums in the long run is uh, very, very minimal. Also, it is easier to cut through than conventional chrome cobalt uh, PFM bridges and it also comes with a 10-year warranty. The next product that I'm going to show you are uh, the smart abutments. Now, as the name suggests, uh, these are customized abutments made using CAT CAM technology and they are milled using these blanks. So basically, uh, these are what we call uh, pre-milled blanks. Uh, we call them pre-milled because the hex of the abutment is already milled. So these blanks are basically implant specific like this for example is a noble active uh, uh, pre-milled abutment. Now the hex as I said is previously milled so accuracy is not a concern. So we are not basically touching or tampering with the hex at all. What we are doing is we are only milling the superstructure on top. So the hex is already milled as per the, the company standards and that is why accuracy and precision is maintained throughout. These smart abutments are available in two different types. You can either go in for a conventional titanium smart abutment or you can also go in for a hybrid smart abutment which has a titanium base with a zirconium superstructure. As I said, it is made using uh, CAT CAM technology so there is very little human interference thereby maintaining the precision. It is highly customizable again because it is made using uh, CAT CAM technology. You can design the collar, you can uh, change the emergence, you can adjust the shape, the size and the, the anatomy of uh, the abutment as per the requirement. Also angulations of up to 35 to 40 degrees can be easily corrected using these smart abutments. Uh, Pre-milled abutments are uh, implant specific as I said earlier and uh, they are available for a variety of implant systems. So our system is open-ended, we can manufacture uh, smart abutments for uh, various implant systems in the market. Uh, this uh, product that I'm going to show you now is, uh, we call it uh, laser PFM and uh, these are the click fit partials. MLS stands for direct metal laser sintering. This technology uses laser sintering to manufacture uh, your PFMs which we call the laser PFMs and click fit partial dentures. Uh, these are basically nothing but cast partial dentures. Because it is sintered with a laser, uh, again precision and accuracy is... Uh, is inherent in this system and also there is minimal human touch and minimal exposure to the outside environment. It's a completely isolated environment where the sintering takes place so there is very less chances of contamination. The laser PFM again has a warranty of uh, 10 years and the click fit partials also have a warranty of 10 years. This method basically uses uh, chrome cobalt powder which is in its purest state. This powder is laid down layer by layer and uh, the layers are then fused together to form the final product. This here is uh, the finished uh, click fit partial denture. This has been retrieved from the DMLS plate and uh, this is what it looks like after the finishing and the polishing. As I said, it is also uh, made using CAT CAM technology so the design is highly customizable. You can play around with the position of the clasps and you know as per the requirement and because it is utilizing uh, pure chrome cobalt, uh, it is highly compatible with the soft tissues and the fit is excellent. Well, that's about it for today's episode. Please write in your comments, suggestions and requests for featuring certain specific procedures at the email address mentioned below. I want to thank you all for watching this video on behalf of everybody here at Illusion Dental Laboratory. See you next time.